Hello grade one, welcome to our new science session. Today, we will complete unit nine, lesson two. What are solids, liquids, and gases? Let's get started. As we said last time, matter means anything that takes up space. So everything around us is matter. Your chair, desk, bed, your book, pencil, even the air which you breathe is matter because it takes up space. Any matter has something which is called mass. What is the meaning of the word mass? Mass means the amount of matter something has. The amount of matter something has. Like this book. How much matter does it have? This means its mass. When we measure it, when you put it on the balance, do you remember the balance? How much matter does it have? This is the mass of the book. Not all matter are the same. There are different kinds of matter. Matter can be solid, liquid, or gas. Let's explain each of them alone. Let's start with the first kind which is a solid. A solid is a kind of matter that keeps its own shape. What is the meaning of these words? Look at this car. It's solid. Why did I say it is solid? Because it keeps its own shape. This means when the car is moving or when it is stopped in its place its shape will not change if you cover the core and then get the cover out of it it will have the same shape so it is solid another thing here in this picture there are a lot of solids like these books when your book change if we're talking about the science book when the shape of your science book change when you put it inside your bag or put it on your desk of course not will the shape of this photo or this picture change when you switch off the light or turn it on of course not will the shape of your toy be different when you put it inside a box and then get it out no so any matter that keeps its own shape is called solid any kind of matter that keeps its own shape is solid the second kind of matter is called a liquid what is a liquid a liquid is matter that flows what is the meaning of flow like this water Of course, liquids are not only water. There are a lot of liquids like juice, tea, coffee, oil, milk, Pepsi, Nesquik. Anything that flows like water is called a liquid. Liquids are not only flowing liquids do not have shapes does water have shape of course not you cannot carry it alone without a container what is the meaning of a container a container is something in which you put the liquid inside so a liquid doesn't have shape a liquid takes the shape of its container and we said container means the object or the thing in which we will put the liquid like this orange juice it's put inside a jar so it takes the shape of the jar like this honey it takes the shape of the jar another thing here we have a lot of containers and in each of them water doesn't have shape it takes the shape of the container in which it is put so again 
liquids flow we can pour them and they don't have shapes a liquid takes the shape of its container the third form or the third kind of matter is called gas what is gas it's the only form of matter that fills all the space of its container if we move back to a liquid if we have this small amount of water the rest of the container is empty so it's not necessary for a liquid to fill all the container it will fill till you stop but for a gas it will spread to fill all the container the more you're blowing up the balloon the more it will get bigger and the gas will spread inside it till it is all or completely filled does a gas have shape look around yourself can you see the shape of the air air is gas of course not so a gas doesn't have shape what does it make it takes the shape of its container not only takes the shape but it spreads to fill all the container a gas spreads out to fill all the container let's summarize what we said today we said that everything around us is matter and it has mass and don't forget that we said mass means the amount of matter in an object and another condition takes up space matter take up space and we have three kinds of matter the first one is a solid a solid is the only form that has its own shape the second is a liquid a liquid flows and takes the shape of its container the third is a gas which spreads out to fill all the container thank you grade one for listening and see you next time good